This video is going to be about independent random variables, but more specifically, it's going to be about how the marginal densities of independent random variables uh, interact. So we'll start with a definition, we'll do a quick example, and then I'll leave you all with a practice problem. Quick definition, let x be a random variable with marginal density g of x. And y be another random variable with marginal density h of y. If the joint density f of x, y is equal to the product of the marginals, then the random variables x and y are independent. That is, they have nothing in common. They are in some sense not related to each other, despite the fact that the product of them gives their joint density. Okay? We can do a quick example. Consider the joint density f of x, y equal to 2 times x plus y for 0 less than x less than y less than 1. Well, then the marginal with respect to x is negative 3x squared plus 2x plus 1 for 0 less than x less than 1. I'm just writing this marginal down because we have justified it in a previous video. So I'll just refer you to an earlier video from this week to go about justifying these marginal densities. So here are the two marginal densities for uh, x and y. However, the joint density is not equal to the product of h and y. Therefore, random variables with these marginal densities and a shared joint density, let's call them x and y, are dependent because this equality is not true. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. So this is going to be a um, relatively easy video for us. So I'll conclude by leaving you a practice problem. Consider the joint density fxy defined to be 6x squared times y for 0 is less than x less than 1 and 0 is less than y less than 1. Are random variables x and y independent? Now, to answer this, you're going to first have to find their marginal densities. Now, if you've been following along with the videos, we've done that in a previous video, so this problem shouldn't take you too long to answer. I'm just going to clean up some notation here that is bothering me. And by the time you have their marginal densities together, all you need to do is figure out if their product is equal to the joint density. And that'll be it. 